So we're here with the group uh, Nano Explore Incorporated. So here it says $100 million in 2014 and $8 billion in 2020. What are we talking about? Well, graphene, this is applied, uh, applied products for graphene. Uh, so basically the first products that have been launching graphene are in the electronics segment led by uh, some of the larger yeah. companies such as Samsung Electronics. Yeah. But as uh, and which would compose this section of the market, uh, which is estimated about, about a fourth of uh, the total market, there's going to be a lot of growth in other segments as well as graphene applies into uh, other segments as defense, polymers, uh, we're talking about coatings, paints, uh, energy, batteries. Where does Samsung put it? TV sets for in electronics. The TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this graphene for graphene what? Graphene and TV sets. What does it help? They with? have curved electronics, as they need bendable materials. So this as is the bending, the the bended Samsung TV. Market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of their uh, applications for this. So what do you do with your company? Well, what we are, we're the producers of, of uh, basic material graphene. We produce uh, high quality pristine material. By that term, pristine, we mean defectless material, which is very highly conductive. Because one of the properties of graphene is its conductivity. Uh, conductivity, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, those are the main benefits that are going to be applied in different products. So right here you have, for example, uh, it says something about uh, flake size matters. Uh, what are you talking about on well, these? Think about graphene. We make powders. We make it from natural graphite. So think about graphene as a disc, as a large disc that's got high surface area and is very thin. So flake size matters, meaning the larger the size, the defectless it is, the more conduct, the more conductive it is. It's like a highway for electrons, and that's what you want ultimately. So uh, right now, uh, your products, where do they go? Our products right now can go into composites. We mix it with water, we mix it with oils, we mix it with, uh, with different polymers. So you could put, you, we put it in lubricants to improve lubrication as a product in uh, industrial lubrications. These are initial products that we're, like, that we're applying in there. Uh, is this your product? This is our product. This is it dangerous? It is not dangerous. It is made naturally from natural graphite. Natural graphite is a product that kids chew on, they play on. Uh, it's from natural source, uh, so it's not dangerous at all. <laughs> so it's like a powder. It's a, it's a very fine powder. You have grade A, grade B, grade C, T, O2. What's going on here? The grades, the different grades are subject to the size of flake. Because depending on the application that you're looking for, you might be looking for different flakes. If we're looking for paintings, for paints and coatings, we're looking extremely large flakes to cover surface areas. If we're looking for something that highly dispersible like inks, we're looking for smaller flakes that'll, dis that'll disperse very well into other compounds. So these are different types of sizes and as well there are different types of functionalities. We do as well, uh, we functionalize the flake because graphene in itself is not a very mixable material to start off with. So we have to add uh, functionalities, meaning we work the edges of the flake to make them uh, hook up with other composites easier. So we end up with a very highly mixable product, but retaining the great qualities of graphene at the same time. So where are you based? We're based in Montreal, Canada. So you're a Canadian company? We're a Canadian company because uh, at the source we're also graphi graphite uh, uh, industrials. And uh, there's a graphite mine in Quebec. It's uh, one of the, the largest in North America. And so we know the, this industry very well, so that's how we... Uh, how so we what do you think about this conference here, the ID Tech X? I think it's a, it's a very good conference, because we're mixing uh, industries that uh, need to work together in the future. I mean, graphene is going into 3D printing for electronic material. It uh, has a lot of application in wearables and textiles as well. So the wearable sector is important to us. Uh, you can see in the future graphene in textile. We'll have conductive textiles. One of the other properties of graphene as well as antibacterial. So you will have antibacterial clothing, fire retardant. There's a lot of synergies between graphene and the textile industry. So uh, the, 
the fact that we're merging uh, industries together here is a very uh, interesting. Is there enough event. graphene to cover the whole world to do all the things that people need? Right now, it's a, we're beginning. We're beginning. The volumes are getting uh, bigger and bigger. There's enough graphite to uh, definitely supply the graphene. Uh, the graphene. It's a basic material. It's very abundant. It's very easy. So and it's very cheap. Uh, graphite is very accessible.